Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about rational functions and expressions. Okay, so basically a rational function is nothing more than a function that consists of some type of fraction. Like, let's say for instance you had f of x over g of x. Uh, one thing you got to remember, the main thing you got to remember when you're doing these expressions is that um, you can't have the denominator be zero. Okay, there's no such thing as 4 over 0, okay, or 2 over 0, because this right here is an undefined function, or in this case here, it's an undefined uh, expression. So this would be considered a rational expression. This is a rational expression. This is also a rational expression. Okay, If you're in a calculus class, um, you'll be doing a lot of this factoring. Basically, that's, what we're, that's the idea here, is we're going to be doing factoring of these rational expressions. And uh, for the most part, most some of these right here, I'll kind of just go through them. I have a whole bunch of examples, and I'm going to try to do as many as I can in the time that I have. So in this case here, like this one here, let's do this one here, this x squared uh, minus 1 x uh, over x minus 1. So in this case here, the top would factor out like this. x minus 1 times x plus 1. And that's all going to be over x minus 1. Okay, so these cancel out, and you're left with x plus 1. Okay. And... Uh, one thing I want to mention too, um, you may see something like this. Your teacher might write something like this. If, if you have f of x over g of x, you might have something like this. She'll, he or she will write it like this. f of x over g of x, um, where g of x is not equal to zero. Uh, that's a formal way of basically expressing a rational function. So you may see it in your book, so I wanted to mention this just in case you're wondering, well, why isn't he not writing, you know, where g of x equal to zero? Well, for some of you, this may apply. For, for others, you may not understand what's going on. Um, when I write this, you really should. Um, basically, it just means the same as this, like four, you can't have a zero in the denominator. Okay, so I just wanted to mention that. Um, let's see, let's do another example here. How about something simple to start? x plus a times x minus b and that's all over x plus 1 uh, times x plus a real simple the only two that are alike are these right here and you're left with x minus b over x plus 1 you can write it with or without the parentheses it doesn't matter uh, no, you cannot cancel the x's here. Okay, you can't cancel terms. That's uh, highly illegal in math. You can definitely not do that. Okay, so let's see. Got another example here. How about this one? How about x plus 3 times x plus 2 times x minus 3 and this is all over x squared minus 9 okay well if you don't recognize that this is a difference of two squares and you probably should review some of the other videos that I have on the dif uh, difference of two squares so in this case here it is gonna work out like this x plus 3 times x plus 2 times x minus 3 and this is all over x plus 3 times x minus 3. These cancel out, these cancel out, and you're just left with the x plus 2. So x plus 2. Now if you had a question like this um, as a calculus equation, basically, for like again, I'm going to say things, some of these things may not apply to you because you're not there yet, but 
this is basically getting you set up for calculating limits in the future. Okay, um, I'm not going to get into that now because I don't want to confuse some of you guys or scare you guys, but you need to get good at doing these. Okay, so let's see. Let's do another problem here. Um, let's step it up a little bit. Okay, let's step this up a little bit. If you need to push pause to try to work it out, that's fine. I'll cue you on uh, certain uh, places where you, uh, where I'm doing fundamental checks of uh, of concepts. Um, so, like for this problem here, I'm not going to go into specifics about the different methods of um, of factoring. I will tell you what they are, but I'm not going to go through it. Um, and actually do it by that method since I have these solved I'm just these are just exercises for you guys to work out I have other videos that, that do um, that explain uh, different uh, factoring methods like in this case here for this particular problem I'm just gonna go ahead and, and uh, work it out but there's ways to factor this out there's something called factor by grouping which you should check out another video that I have but again these are just exercises for you guys to uh, really get the practice in factoring and again if you need to pause just go ahead and pause and try to work it out yourself okay so the, you saw what I was doing here while I was talking to you guys I was writing out the problem and setting up the parentheses okay check the sign pattern okay um, minus indicates that there's a plus and a minus somewhere okay so we're gonna go ahead and, and um, in this case here um, one of them is going to be plus, one of them is going to be minus, we don't know, but the 3x, two factors are going to be 3x and x. I'm making these all work out so you guys can see the canceling. And this is going to be a 7 here, and this one's going to be an 8. This one will be plus, and this one will be minus. And on the bottom, it works out like this, 3x plus 7 and x plus 4. Okay, in this case here, this cancels out, this cancels out, and you're left with x minus 8 over x plus 4. And I got time for one more problem. And let's do this one here. How about 2x squared plus 4x minus 6 and this is all going to be over 4x squared minus 40x plus 36 okay on the top I'm going to factor out a 2 and on the bottom I'm going to factor out a 4 I'm going to set up my parentheses here and here and this is going to be x squared plus 2x minus 3 the bottom is going to be x squared minus 10x plus 9. And this factors out to parentheses, 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 parentheses. Um, let's see. The 2 cancels and with the 4, and you get a 2. So it's going to be a 2 down here. And on the top, this will be x plus 3, and x minus 1. This will be x minus 9, and x minus 1. Okay, so basically the x minus 1 cancels the x minus 1, and nothing else cancels, so my final answer will be x plus 3 over 2 times the quantity x minus 9 which can also be written as x plus 3 all over 2x minus 18 okay and no you can't cancel the x's here and you can't there's nothing else that will cancel you can't cancel the 3 with the 18 either I would uh, those you'd be canceling terms and you can't do that uh, so that's all the time I have for this I'm gonna do some more problems look for them this is just one part and uh, thanks for watching